Hey, a lot of new agents don't know how commissions actually work. Okay, ask yourself, do you really understand the commission game and how it works and how you can start to actually produce lots of money, right? Like when I was 20, okay, we're gonna talk about money and commissions and how you can start to know, actually be in the know on, on how this works. When I was 20, literally 20 years old, playing basketball, taking 21 credit hours a semester, right, for, for college, and become a full-time insurance agent, and made $117,361.13 in my first eight months. Okay, here's what I'm thinking about doing as I talk, I talk about commissions. We're literally thinking about shooting a video where I get $117,361.13 from the bank, and we have it in a briefcase, and we have all this cash sitting on the desk, and I talk to you about money. If you would like to see that video, post in comments below if you want me to go to the bank and rob the vault for 117 k Okay, keep me posted. I'd love to see your comments on that. Okay, help me out. Now, if you're new, okay, I want to understand how commissions work, by the way. Okay, the way this works, okay, is typically, right, here's the process, right? You'll have a lead of someone that has some level of interest in what you're selling. Okay, some level of interest, by the way, right? Not every level of interest is the same. Most people, most new agents, where they get in trouble is they think a lead equals a sell. It does not. If it equal to sell, no one would need you. <laughs> okay, so it's a lead, some level of interest. Some are high, some are low. Then, right, then it's the agent's job, okay, to set an appointment, to set a phone cell, to get in front of that person, whatever, okay? Then, my phone's probably going off because I got a lead maybe, who knows, okay? The appointment, okay? Then it's your job to get in and make the sell, right? To make the sell. Now, how that works is once you make a sell, the, 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 the prospect or the client in that respect now, what they do is they pay what's called a premium, right? Not a premium in that it's a premium product, even though it could be, okay? But they're paying a premium, which is the amount of money that they are paying for their policy, okay? Now, the way this thing works is, I'll move to the other side of the board real quick, okay? The way this thing works is, Let's just say that you're talking to a prospect and you sell them a $100 a month policy, okay? And let's just say that $100 a month policy, let's just say they buy a, I don't know. So let's just say they're, they're, uh, they're 30, it's a, it's a 42 year old male, okay? And they buy a 20 year term for two million, uh, I don't know. Two million bucks. Okay, I'm making it up, but you get the idea, right? I know I, I don't. I pay more than that, but I've got like five million dollars of life insurance. Why? Because, dude, the, the insurance is, is is never enough. The way my the way my wife spends money, yeah, that thing's going quick. I can guarantee you that. And she's 32. It ain't lasting 60 years. Five million bucks ain't lasting anybody 60 years. It just ain't. Okay. So, hundred bucks a month. Boom. You, if you take that number times 12, that equals $1,200. That's what the client is paying over the first year. So if you think about that, right, 1200 bucks, that again is what's called the premium. That's the amount of money that the client is premium. We call that a premium, okay? We call it an insurance premium, right? Then you take the 1200 bucks for the first year, you take it times your commission rate, okay? You take it times your commission rate, which let's just say for easy math sake, let's just say it's $500, okay? I'm sorry, I'm saying let's just say it's 50%. Your commission percentage, okay, is what we'll call it, commission percentage. And let's just say that you get paid 50% when you sell life insurance policy. Again, some companies pay more, some companies pay less. I don't know. I'm just educating, okay? Uh, so in that case, 1200 bucks times 50%, is $600, right? This is a general example, by the way, of like a size of a policy. I always sold, uh, my averages were over 100 bucks a month because you'll add some big ones, right? You'll add the $1,000 a month one. You'll add the $500 a month one. You'll add the, a bunch of two and $300 a month ones. You'll add the $12 a month ones too, okay? So it'll, they'll vary in size. But let's just say at 600 bucks, some companies will then, some companies will pay the whole year out up front, so then you get $600. Most will typically do what's called a nine month commission advance, okay? Which means nine divided by 12 is 75%. So you take 600 times 
75% because you only get nine months up front, and I'll explain that in a second. 600 times nine months, okay, times 75% is $450, right? So in this example, if all this were true, I'm not saying it is, but if it were, you would get $450 that would be direct deposited in your bank account, okay? Right? Direct deposit in your bank account. Follow me so far, okay? Now, if that's the case, and you're like, well, what about the rest of the months? I only get nine months up front, okay? Now, you get, yes, you get nine months up front, right? So you get 450 bucks in this example right off the bat, okay? Great. Well, then there's still the other $150 here that's available, and it would pay out, this is the first nine months, it would pay out in month 10, month 11, and month 12. And they would each pay 50 bucks. 50 bucks, month 11. Once the, once the client makes the payment. Okay, now if the client doesn't make it nine months, and you were advanced nine months of commission, it's kind of like the insurance company is loaning you nine months up front. Okay, now if the client doesn't keep the policy for nine months, the company's kind of kind of come back for their money, by the way. Okay, so some people that sell as earned, right? If you're a new agent, you need, you need to commission advance. You just do. But just know that if the client does not keep it on the books for nine months, they're coming back for some of their money, right? Let's just say, let's just say the client cancels after three months or after, after six, let's just say the client cancels after six months. At six months, you still owed three months, which means there's still 200 bucks there, right? Like, so, so you gotta start to think about, okay, what does that look like? There's 150 bucks of commission available there that you would have to give back, right? So month 12, another 50 bucks, okay? So you total that up, boom, that's where the $600 comes in, right? So 600 bucks is the total first year commission or TFYC in this example, okay? Every company calls it something different, right? I've heard a bazillion terms, okay? When I started out, they called it NFYC, Net First Year Commission, okay? 600 bucks. Now, there's also some renewals to where, yes, if you, if the client keeps paying and you're with a company that pays renewals, sometimes term doesn't pay for renewals, by the way, okay? It varies by the type of term, product types, there's simplified issue where there's no paramed, there's fully underwritten where there is a paramed, it just it varies greatly, okay? But follow with me. Some, some companies will pay commissions years two through 10 as well. Okay, now very small percentages, very small amounts, but it can grow, it can accrue, okay? But if you understand that, okay, I get paid to do two things, okay? I get paid, as my wife's trying to call me, okay? I'm trying to help, help agents make some money, okay? Can you guys tell her, okay? The, there's two things, you get paid to sell policies. You also get paid to keep clients on the books to retain policies, okay? Client retention, customer service, et cetera, right? If you're like, okay, I don't know how commissions work for life insurance. You do now. Hey, if you love this video, you're gonna love, okay? I got behind the scenes with Jordan Belfort at our conference about how he can help new agents and what he would do if he was you. Check that video out. You have to get them into the habit of dialing or out. It's gotta be top of the funnel. People are scared to dial the phone, scared to go to...